Hello, type to here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a clipping mask in Adobe InDesign. So far for the do, let's get right into it. So as you can see, we have an image right here. And let's say that we want to use this image to create a clipping mask. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. So the first thing we want to do is to find the image we would like to use. And I have done that right here. And you want to insert this image into your InDesign document. And you can just do that by going up in File and choose Place. Or use the keyboard shortcut Command D or Control D. And if you press right here, you can just find the image you would like to import into your document. When you have done that, we are now actually ready to create the clipping mask. So to create the mask, go over to the toolbar in the left side of the screen. And you want to choose the tools right here. This is normally set to the rectangle tool. So if you press M on your keyboard, you will get this tool. If you just try to right click right here, we can see that we have some different options here. So we can just choose any shape we would like to create this clipping mask. In this example, I would like to have this dog inside of this polygon tool. So I'll just be using this right here. And you can see that that is now selected. Now just go up in the control bar right here and remove the black stroke right here. And as you can see, we now don't have a fill or a stroke. So we're now actually ready to create the shape. So just go right here and click and hold down shift just to drag this shape up and we can just let go. And as you can see, we have now created a shape right here. So we can just set this so the dog is in the middle, just like this. We now have our shape in place and let's say that we want our image, this right here, inside of this to create this clipping mask. The way we do that is by first selecting our image, go up to edit and choose cut right here. Use the keyboard shortcut command X or control X on PC. And as you can see, we have now cut our image and it is now gone. And if we now try to select our shape right here, we can actually just select that, go up to edit and choose paste into. And we have now pasted our image into our shape right here and created a clipping mask. So we can just take this shape and move it around. We can also change the image inside. If we just double click on our image, we'll get this option where we can just move around on our image and just place it wherever we would like. So yeah, that's actually how to create a clipping mask in Adobe InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.